Hello people, this is Budridge and I'm doing this now. This video will be completed and uploaded. This is take four or something. <laughs> but uh, I, yeah, let's let me show you. I got a comment uh, on the last video, or I got a lot of comments. Uh, really cool to see the interaction here and great comments all over. Even the one I will highlight here now, it because I might get a bit irritated during this video. Uh, but it, it, it's definitely not the, the comment itself or anything. It's just the, the topic that this brings up here. Uh, you will, you, you will see. I also made a video about this. I will not even read it because then I will start talking and getting sidetracked about it. So, uh, whatever. But this, this comment, and it's, it, it's a good question. Uh, hey man, can you tell, uh, tell how to get that cursor? Do you have a video on how to set up a custom cursor? Uh, and as you can see, I have this big orange weird uh, cursor that might look really weird for some people and some people might recognize it and know exactly what kind of cursor this is. But it doesn't really belong <laughs> in uh, 2021 on a weird uh, arch system or maybe that's exactly where it belongs. Uh, I have not made a video about this uh, and I do have a custom cursor. Uh, because I, I create, I kind of created my own uh, cursor pack uh, a long while ago, probably like two, two, three years ago or something. Um, and I, I remember when I did that, I, I thought maybe I should make a video about this, but then that didn't really happen. And then I haven't thought about this at all until a couple of days ago here now. Uh, and now I know why I never made that video. <clears throat> Uh, because uh, this is <laughs> cursors on uh, Linux and I guess specifically X. I'm not sure how this works on Wayland. I have a feeling it might be smoother, uh, so to speak, on Wayland, maybe. Uh, or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't tested this on, on Wayland, but I, I'm sure they, they must have a different system because I, this looks to be uh, X specific. But of course, when you're running Wayland, then you will probably end up emulating in quotation mark uh, a bunch of X windows where I guess the X settings applies, meaning the cursor settings. So maybe it gets even more complicated on Wayland because then you have to have both a Wayland and X cursor. I, I don't know. I actually don't know this. So uh, whatever. Uh, we will focus now on, on the broken, uh, broken curse mouse pointer cursor uh, uh, the cursed the cursed uh, uh, system for the cursor um, yeah and it should it shouldn't be like this because it it's not a complicated thing and, and like mouse cursors they work kind of they, they are the same thing you know everywhere windows have mouse cursors macOS have mouse cursors linux gnome kde whatever all of them have mouse cursors and and it's one of those things that are kind of universal you know you have a arrow to point on things and then you have a finger to highlight that it's a link and then you have like some kind of a clock or something like that you know the waiting symbol it's it, it's it's a universal thing, and you you got uh, you got like this for moving a couple of different cursors. It's not that important what kind of shape it is. It's just like uh, universally uh, agreed on that for certain mouse actions, uh, the the shape of the cursor should change. And th this is like this has been around since I don't know since like uh, <laughs> um, yes yeah, so, since. Uh, What's it called? The first GUI, Xerox, Xerox Alto. <laughs> That's like when, when they started uh, uh, with this arrow pointer and changing the mouse cursor on different actions and stuff. And that was the first, first uh, um, WIMP GUI system. And it has been stayed that way. So these uh, issues that should should have been sorted out like 40 years ago, and they they were, <laughs> uh, and it's not complicated. It's like the like um, 
the window manager or the display server or whatever gets different signals from applications saying that, hey, now we are moving something. Now I want to resize something. For example, here we can see I'm re just to highlight that, hey, this is a place where you can resize horizontally. It's great. And everything works now, as we can see. And how this works is that you store uh, cursor files. For example, here is the cursor I am using. And it looks like this. And now, now we're starting to see what, 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 what is this, you know? A lot of weird uh, hash uh, files and maybe it's hard to see, but these arrows indicate that these are symbolic links and these indicate that these are broken symbolic links, but whatever. These are not symbolic links, these are actual cursor files. But as you can see, we can also not see the preview of them. Um, but in Thunar, uh, have this built-in thing, so when you uh, select something, you can see what type of file it is. And this is an X11 cursor file, so it is kind of an image, a special image format, only for X11 cursors here. We get back to this. There's a lot to talk about here. It's crazy that we have to talk about so many things here, but I, I, I will try to go through the whole thing and then I will <laughs> never ever make a video about this again. Um, the best uh, site I have found online, because there are very little documentation about all this, I have still not really found a good uh, documentation about uh, what all of these uh, words or these images actually refer to, but we can kind of <laughs> reverse engineer it a bit, you will see. So, the Arch Wiki cursor themes. I will link all, all the pages I show in the video, I will link them in the show notes, of course. Uh, <clears throat> Blah, 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 blah. Installation can be done with package or downloaded and extracted to an appropriate uh, directory. So, yeah, for example, on Arch here, you can install. There are some, it's not a lot of cursor themes in uh, available in the official Arch repositories. Um, It's just these, uh, and there are some special libraries here as well that are not actual cursors, but like files that's needed to work with cursors and stuff like that. But it's just these uh, different packs here, and I think I've installed one or two of, those, of them. Um, but of course, there are also a lot of cursors available in uh, AUR. Uh, but the thing is, these cursor packs, I think the most common way, even if you are on Arch probably, is to install, instead just install them manually. Uh, and it's not a big deal to do, but uh, it's described here that you can find cursors on... on uh, yeah, there. Uh, I guess they are on all kinds of places, but I think that one of the best, or in quotation mark, best... Uh, 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 resources for cursors and icon themes and, and stuff like that is Gnome Look here. And here we can see lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of cursor packs here. I, I don't know how many there are, or maybe we can figure out 975 uh, items in this cursor c category. And uh, yeah, let's just take one of these uh, retro smart, I don't know. Now the screen blacked out a while there. I have, uh, on Tuesday, I will get a new desk uh, and then I will start using my, my desktop computer again uh, because I, I cannot use this docking station setup I have now. It's, it's so annoying, but whatever. Um, okay, glass mouse cursor, low rating, whatever. It, 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 this is probably not a nice, good cursor. I don't know. I'm just basing that assumption on the score here. I cannot even click the link. There we go. Here, look at it. Well, this is Windows, isn't it? Mouse, mouse cursor for Windows. Is this for... God damn it. Okay, we cannot use that. <laughs> or actually, the, it, it is not 
super difficult to, to convert a Windows cursor. We will actually get back to that because that's, that is included in this video, how to convert Windows cursors as well. Um, okay, here we have some Windows 7 cursors. I hope they are for Linux. Yeah, then you select the tier files, download this uh, tarball, save. Now we should see that here in my downloads directory here. Um, okay, we have downloaded a, a, a cursor pack, good. And then when you want to install them, you have three uh, options. For user specific installation, use either home directory dot local share icons or home directory dot icons. Uh, and I think this one is uh, much more recent to use this dot local because in dot local share, then you can have all kinds because uh, th this is now the default location for fonts also like dot local share fonts instead of dot fonts and stuff like that. And I, I prefer uh, trying to use this dot local. I, I, I would like to move all my uh, hidden files in the home directory to dot uh, um, local actually, because as, as you all know, the home directory on a normal Linux distribution is a mess. Now I'm actually surprised that I don't have more uh, hidden files and directories here than I do, but there are still too many. All of these could be stored in, in like share share here. <clears throat> so let's use that for icons here. Uh, but um, as, I, as I mentioned, this is quite recent uh, that this dot local way of, of uh, that, that has become like a standard. So you can s still use dot icons in the home directory and you can have both of them existing at the same time. It, it should kind of work, uh, but don't do that. But you can, of course, also make a system-wide uh, uh, installation because usually this dot local share that is like uh, that get merged with uh, or user share get merged with local share, if I'm not mistaken. So so things in in local overrides stuff in USR. Uh, but that doesn't have to be the case, but I think it is the case here with icons, but you can have icon like three different icon packs and you can have one here, one here and one here, and then you can still select them from wherever you select your cursor packs here. And if you use F XFCE like I do, there is a special settings for mouse and touchpad. I think this is also a bit weird that they don't have this, this with the themes maybe, but whatever. It's located here in mouse and touchpad. You can also use like LX appearance to, to set this or browse the different themes here. This is weird. Okay. Now all my, now I don't see Adawaita either here. It's like every, as I mentioned, this is like take four. Every time I do this, it's like something new, awkward has happened. My suspicion here now is because what's different is uh, I would like to, yeah, let's, well, maybe now this is a bad, bad tip here. I don't know why they don't mention it here, but uh, you should set up an environment variable. Uh, let's see here, here. If cursor themes are installed in dot the local share icons, which is the location I I really want it to work having uh, icons there. In order to avoid possible, they should add quotation marks here because there will definitely be issues if you don't do this. Add that path to X cursors uh, path environment variable. So you can set this in bash profile. I, I did it in X init uh, RC. Uh, so here, I added this to my X and it RC to make sure that this is included in the X cursors path. Uh, let's echo that. I haven't tested that actually. Echo, because maybe that is the, the problem. X cursor. Path. 
Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that. <sighs> so if this is not set, then it's not sure that this local share icons will be found by all applications, and you will most likely end up with like three different cursors in different applications. It's it's a complete mess when you start using this. But then it started. It, it worked much better when I added this. But now I can see, then I guess this uh, uh, environment variable, now I don't get the other uh, uh, location. So I guess, uh, I guess we do this instead. This is now just me freestyling here, but I think this is much better. Uh, I might actually uh, um, report this as an issue to the Arch Wiki later. Colon and colon here in, in these path environment variables is usually the, the separator for the different uh, uh, directories. And then we have USR share icons. There. Uh, okay. So, but how do I get this reloaded now? For this. Okay. Whatever. I will not restart this video. I will not do that, and I don't want to. Um, I don't want to. Um, uh, 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 I have to. I think I have to log in, log out here to get have this take effect on XFCE and stuff like that. Maybe there is a way to reload this, but whatever. It doesn't really matter because we will not use the system installed uh, cursors. But there are a couple of cursors. Uh, that is usually available like here I have user share icons because Advaita for example which is the GTK uh, default icon theme and here you might already be super confused here I'm talking about icons I'm talking about cursors and they are, the cursors are located in icons and yeah it is this is how it is they mix uh, icons and cursors are located in the same uh, directory like this <clears throat> And if we look at Advaita, for example, uh, here we can see all the all the cursors for Advaita, like yeah, different icons, you know, or all the all the icons. But it also have uh, the Advaita cursors is located in the icons directory, even though the cursor files are not icons; they are cursor images. They are not. It, it's so so awkward that they did it like this. Why why not just create share cursors? <laughs> That would be much uh, better, in my opinion. Whatever, really, whatever. Let's not talk too much about that. It 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 is what it is, I guess. Um, okay, and we downloaded our cursor pack here. So I guess now I can only use this local share icons because that is what my X cursor's path uh, points to here. <clears throat> Let's get back to the story. You download the cursor pack. And when you have downloaded the cursor pack, you can use this command to extract that cursor pack, capital C option here. That means uh, target directory. So if we uh, um, go to downloads here, which on my system is called down or DWN, maybe you have named your Downloads directory something else, but I think you know what I mean. Um, then we do tar xdf like here, and then win seven build cursors, blah blah blah. C local share icons and that should extract this new. Icon set there, super fast, and it uh, creates the correct. Because you, I would say that always when you download stuff, at least here from Pling and this uh, GNOME looks, I think you can change this to like XFCE looks if that makes you feel better. But these cursor themes, they they are the same. They they well, I shouldn't say that, but they they should work on all desktop environments. But who knows, you know. Uh, but now we have Windows 7 build cursors here. We can open it. We have an index.theme and we have cursors and one of these weird directories with a lot of strange stuff in it. 
And now I just have to reload this window. Maybe even just do this is enough. No, I have to reload that here at least. Uh, so mouse and touchpad theme and there it is, windows cursors. But as you can see, it doesn't change the cursor. We can see the preview here, but here we still have this Omega cursor. Uh, but look at this. In Vivaldi, we have the correct cursor. Here, wrong cursor. Here, wrong cursor. Here, wrong, here, wrong, here, wrong. Uh, and these are uh, actually different different parts here. I guess this is a GTK application. This is GTK handled by XFCE, maybe, maybe not. This is MP, no, this is just SXIV, but it doesn't work here either. This is an X application, URXVT, X term, and then we have the window manager elements itself. And sometimes you might end up with like different cursors for all of these different uh, parts here. It's super weird. But I've noticed that Chromium and Vivaldi, for all evil they do, they at least have figured out how to instantly change the cursor correctly here. So it's it's the best way to test the cursor is to web, have the web browser open like this. And then when you have uh, every when you're satisfied with your cursor settings, then you kind of have to restart X. You have to log in, log out, basically or reboot or something like that. The, the, it's what it is. I haven't found a way to do this reliably. And even if I did, it would probably only work with uh, XFCE. Then it's a completely different story on GNOME and maybe it just works on GNOME, who knows? I don't know. But here in my system, at least, I have to restart X. And they, they also say that in, in um, in the Arch Wiki that you, you have to restart X for, for all, all uh, uh, settings to have effect because it is a lot of this environment uh, setting stuff and whatever. You see, you see, the, the, it it doesn't really work well this this stuff here. Okay, so that's how you install like a third party uh, cursor theme, uh, not installing it from from your package manager or anything. If you would install a cursor theme from your package manager, it would get installed here to a USR share instead and become a system-wide uh, uh, installation of, of that cursor theme. I guess I can say that also that it almost feels like it, it's, it's easier to work with the cursors that are installed system-wide here. They seem to get reloaded better for more parts of the system. Maybe that is a thing here. Maybe these, uh, whatever, <laughs> whatever. Let's, let's stop guessing, uh, whatever. <clears throat> uh, if the package includes an index dot theme file, check if there is an inherits line inside. If yes, check whether the inherited theme also exists. This this might be important to make sure that some, some themes might not work if this is wrong. So just quickly here what this is, uh, because I have here user share uh, icons and then um, win seven build cursors, which have this index.theme. This is not mandatory to have this file. No, it just have the name here. And this name is what shows up here and what you need to use if you want to change cursor with the command line. I think that is the case. It might also be the directory name here, whatever. It's so weird, all of this. Configuration. This method applies to both X11 and Wayland cursor themes. As mentioned, I haven't looked into Wayland cursor themes at all, so I, I, I will not say anything about it. Uh, for user-specific configuration, create or edit. This is this is this is an important <coughs> step here. Uh, create or edit uh, icons default index dot theme. Here is also something wonky because now they have forgot to add this local share icons because that works as well. We we will not create this one. We will create local share icons default index dot theme. Or for a system wide configuration, you can uh, uh, edit user share. Yeah, and I have both of those. Uh, 
files here in local share icons I have this index top theme and in user share icons there is also a default index top theme so this is the system-wide default uh, <clears throat> and that means if no cursor is selected the system will select Adwaita here but it also means that some of these cursors uh, they yeah, if we look at this Omega, for example, my custom cursor, it, I, I don't think it have 52 files here uh, in that cursor pack, but Advaita cursors have 123 files, uh, different cursor images, things here. Uh, and what I'm trying to get to is that you might uh, end up in a situation where... Um, X or I guess Wayland uh, tries to to display a cursor that doesn't exist in your theme what it will do then is fall back to the default themes cursor for just that one let's say let's say for example that my Omega theme here is missing this uh, text selection thing well very bad example we get back to this but uh, then it will fall back and 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 just display the text selector cursor for omega but as soon as it uh, wants the normal pointer then it will uh, display that which is exactly what happens now with winsep you see how weird this is nothing is working it's very 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 <laughs> the only way only way to to actually do this in a sane way is to have the browser open all the time let's let's do that let's try to do that Padrich. okay here we can see text selector we can see normal arrow with this normal arrow uh, whatever so bad example let's let's uh, continue so create this file if it doesn't exist local share icons default directory name here important lowercase d index.theme and add this uh, comment default curs cursor theme you can add that if you want to uh, yeah here we can see okay okay that's good now i am pretty sure that well whatever whatever i'm, I'm not sure of anything here but you should add uh, the default theme that you want to use and that is the cursor theme that you decide this is the theme I want to use because no one uses more than one cursor theme that would be crazy especially when they they don't work when it is so wonky so I have set here index.theme inherits I have set it to Omega my custom cursor theme um, and this will override the system wide for for the user of course do that uh, uh, you should then edit dot config gtk3.0 settings in uh, replacing the cursor theme name in that file and I have that here settings in here I have also set it to the cursor name I want to use this might be why it doesn't work here but I don't think this is the this is the reason either I'm not sure you kind of wish that xfce would do this for you set the the cursor themes but even the arch wiki here mentions that you should do this manually uh, change this uh, setting Restart X for changes to take effect. It might work. If it still doesn't work, try creating a sim link from icons default. Well, here it says so. Huh. I don't know. Maybe I should create this icons default. I, I just don't want... If I don't need this directory, let's not create it. Whatever. Whew. And then there are some uh, desktop environment specifics here and LX appearance is like that works for all uh, uh, everything basically uh, and that is uh, LX appearance is uh, kind of a neat program but it's also uh, good to know that it overwrites settings and stuff in these files for you and creates files automatically so that that can be good to, to just keep in mind uh, but then there are also settings for different uh, desktop environments and 
this is supposed to do all of this for you, but it does in XFCE in my configuration here. This doesn't seem to work. I, I it might be because I have disabled uh, XF desktop. I don't use the desktop part of my desktop environment here because I'm using i3. So that might be why it's not working with XFCE for me. I have a weird uh, configuration. I know that. Uh, uh, and, and this is when you're really punished when you start fiddling with these stuff here. The best thing is to just stick with the defaults, which just happens to be Advaita. Don't change GTK and GNOME defaults, you know. Don't theme your system. Stop doing that, you know. Uh, but this should work. I think if I use this command... If I use this command... Maybe it even... I doubt it will. Omega. No, it didn't even change here, so whatever. Um, and it's different from Mate, Gnome and whatever, whatever, <clears throat> because this doesn't seem to work uh, for me. I'm just using this to, to, to preview the cursors and, as mentioned many times, it works on in Vivaldi and the browser. I bet it works on Firefox and, and other browsers as well. Um, then you probably want to also uh, add, add this setting to X resources in case you're using uh, uh, applications that, that load their settings from X resources. And I happen to use URXVT, which do that. So if you don't change this, uh, then you will have like a, like the default X cursor or the wrong cursor most of the time in the terminals. And that's very annoying. So you have to set it here to, to make sure that that also get the correct cursor theme. So in uh, X resources, you add X cursors dot theme colon and then the name of the cursor theme. And the name of the cursor theme is the name of the directory where uh, uh, of that theme. So for example, uh, um, Omega or Win7 build dash cursors. I think it's case sensitive also, so keep that in mind. Uh, and you add that to X resources. Now I have went ahead here and created a variable, define cursor theme, omega, and then xcursor dot theme, colon cursor theme. And th this, this has been working fine for me to do this. Uh, and then of course, uh, load uh, x resources. You usually do this in your x init uh, or somewhere if you're doing this kind of stuff. I, I have this line at the top of my x init file. Uh, xrdb one dash merge one dash capital i home directory uh, and then the path i remember i had to do this i home for it to work just as a side note here to to be able to include uh, other files uh, correctly whatever and here it also tells us that we can set a specific cursor theme f just for a certain application by changing this environment variable. I haven't even tried this, uh, whatever. Can also be set within, yeah, I guess if you're using a display manager, then you might also have to change the cursor theme for the display manager. I'm not sure, I don't care about it. About it. Then we have this missing uh, cursor stuff here, but let's, uh, let's um, take a sip of coffee. Take a deep breath. Because right now I have my Omega cursor theme here, but this cursor theme, that, uh, that doesn't exist anywhere because it's my custom little cursor theme here. And we have this Win7 cursors. We don't want to use them. We want this. Uh, uh, I want this theme. You want this theme, right? Right. Um, so now I will tell you a little story here about uh, why I am using the Amiga cursors here and what kind of Amiga cursors it is. I will try to keep this really short here. 
This cursor that I have on the screen now, this big orange arrow, that is the default uh, cursor in Amiga OS uh, 3 or OS 2. They are extremely similar. I think to be exact this is the OS 3 version of the Amiga cursor. Uh, but if we look in the preview here, we can see this is like the default cursors, uh, cursor, just as this is the default cursor for the Win 7 theme. Um, and we can see I have, it almost looks like this is a completely different cursor set. And then I've just uh, thrown these uh, uh, big orange arrows in here. They don't really fit with the rest of the theme, right? And that is exactly what I have done, uh, because it is... It was uh, originally a different theme with the, where this was the default cursor, which I, which we can see if I hover a, a hyperlink, we can see the cursor changes to this one. And this one, this cursor, that is the default cursor in Amiga OS 1. But actually, I, I think it looks a bit ugly, to be honest. Uh, so I would, I, I, I much more like this big one. Uh, but I realized this this is a good cursor for hyperlinks to, to just to see that this is a clickable item thing, you know. So I used uh, the, or the default cursor from, from one theme. I set that to be the pointer cursor and then I uh, added this big nice cursor as the default cursor. Because that's how this whole thing started. A couple of years ago I just ended up on a web random web page somewhere. Uh, someone who had created a web page that looked just like Amiga Workbench, uh, uh, like the operating system, but it was a web page. It was just a meme, you know. And they had also, with CSS, uh, changed uh, the default mouse cursor on the page to be this, the cursor we see now. Uh, and I immediately when I saw that, I was like, hey, this is actually a good cursor because I don't like this white cursors. White cursor on a white background, it, it can be a bit difficult to, to spot it and stuff, especially when you have been, been like binge, uh, <laughs> binge uh, bashing for, for like 25 hours and then all of a sudden everything blends together. You know that feeling, right? Uh, then you don't, then you want a big orange cursor so you can, ah, uh, there it is, <laughs> you know? And I realized that when I saw that webpage. And what I did was uh, I looked into the source code for the web page uh, to find the cursor image they used and downloaded that. And then I started uh, searching the internets uh, for how can I use this uh, cursor I just downloaded from a web page? How can I use that as my Linux uh, default mouse operating system mouse cursor? Uh, and that's uh, that kind of snowballed. <clears throat> And I managed to set set this default mouse cursor uh, as my mouse cursor. Uh, and then I had like something like this, a normal mouse cursor theme. And then I just realized, yeah, okay, it looks nice to have this arrow, but uh, everything else looks terrible. Imagine this theme uh, with an orange, uh, orange mouse cursor, but then when you hover a hyperlink, it looks like this, for example. It, it just didn't fit. Um, and also at, at the uh, same time, I had been searching here on, on Pling for like Amiga cursors. Let's see if we can do that here without going crazy because it's a bit weird. Uh, here we can see there are some Amiga mouse cursors, but none of these, uh, I like, I don't like any of these. Um, some of them are for a more modern, uh, Amiga version or even a custom. I think this one is like Amiga as inspired. It isn't like uh, copied. Uh, they haven't copied the image, uh, the mouse cursor images. And this, I think this is um, whatever based on Amiga uh, point. But it doesn't have that. It, it doesn't have even a, a fraction of the soul as. Uh, as my Amiga cursor theme has. And that theme isn't available here on Pling or, or anywhere else. It's only available on a very strange blog I found. Uh, there we have it, strange blog. Strange blog with custom Amiga OS 1 cursor pack. So let's open that page. Uh, 
<laughs> just uh, a quick note about this uh, blog here. Maybe we can put this guy here, right? Let's do this. Or maybe even do this. We are using Tiling Window Manager, so why not take advantage? Uh, there. Okay, Amiga cursors for Linux and Windows. Hey, great. This, the, this guy, uh, Gracious Science, I guess, uh, ramblings and rants of a robot man. Uh, it's, uh, it's a strange fellow, uh, but nothing wrong with that. Um, his blog, uh, it looks like most of the stuff we have posted the last year here is uh, like uh, weird <laughs> photoshopped uh, uh, fanbot fantasies, uh, not safe for work. Uh, but sometimes he posts other stuff as well, it appears like... Um, he have made all of these, all of these are articles, 27 articles here uh, about, uh, f he tests as many golf games as possible for different uh, gaming systems like Apple II, Commodore 64. And then he have written like a, a really long article here about just about golf games on the Commodore 64. And he have written 27 of these uh, golf golf game articles for different systems. Uh, it's a it's a hard job, but someone has to do it, you know. <laughs> and he have also written about other stuff like uh, weird, we a weird, weird blog here. Uh, I also <laughs> I love this this article about the Steve Miller band. Uh, uh, just like a love letter to how great Steve Miller M Miller band is in the middle of all this <laughs> weird stuff here, and also. Uh, he have also made this uh, Amiga cursors for Linux and Windows. We have created two cursors pack, cursor pack packs here because just as me, he didn't like these uh, packs and other cursor packs that are available elsewhere. So he created his own ones. I think he actually used the uh, whatever. And they are available here, so we can download those cursor packs. They are It's like both the Windows and the Linux version in one file here. Um, there they are. We can unzip this 7-zip archive. I guess all of you know what 7-zip is. It's just a different uh, compression uh, uh, thing. But it's not the default program on, on Arch, uh, so you might need to install this package p7zip to be able to extract 7-zip files. Just a heads up. But, but when you got that, uh, you can do 7-zip x and then Amiga cursor 7z. And there, now we got that is extracted here. This directory contains three directories, like ping is the source files, uh, cur, this is the Windows cursors. And now you will see something weird here. This is the Windows cursors. We can actually see the, the thumbnails or the image previews for the Windows cursors. You can see them, but the Linux Windows cursors, you can't see. And I tested this with PC Man FM also. It also didn't display the thumbnails. I, I'm not sure uh, if it is like a file manager thing. And also I know that PC Man FM and Thunar is, is kind of similar, at least in the way they display thumbnails and stuff. Maybe I should test it other file managers, but I think it's kind of uh, telling that, uh, that you can see the, the previews for Windows cursor files, but not X11. <clears throat> but that's uh, just how it is. And it doesn't really matter that much. Uh, we got those cursors. And now you would think that, okay, so we got these Amiga cursors. Can I just take this X11 directory and put it in local share icons uh, location here and just rename this directory to a strange uh, blog Amiga or something. I guess we load this guy, mouse, touchpad, make it tile, put it here, go to theme. No, it doesn't show up here in the list, uh, strange blog Amiga guy. But it have all the cursor images. 
The difference, and this is important, this took me uh, a while to, to realize this was the, the issue here. Uh, the re reason it doesn't show up here is uh, if we look into uh, the Windows 7 build cursors here, we can see that the directory structure looks like this. You have a cursors directory and then this index.theme file and in the cursors directory there uh, the, the images should or the cursor should be located so all we have to do is create that cursors directory here let's do this first we copy all of this no we cut them uh, and then create a new directory called cursors and then we paste them there and now we have the correct a uh, 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 file structure, mouse, touchpad, make it tile so it's not annoying, go to theme. And there we have strange blog Amiga guy. Select that and now we have that cursor theme. And now we can also see <laughs> why I didn't like this pointer either. It's like this bloody hand is the... Maybe you like this, maybe you don't. Uh, I don't. <laughs> and the default cursor looks like this. Uh, it's also fine. I think it's still, it have a lot of soul, this cursor as well. <clears throat> okay, okay. We are getting somewhere. This is actually, it might look like this video, it, it, what a mess of a video, video Budridge. But let me tell you that it's, things are, are actually going really smooth now. Um, We have extracted this, uh, then of course, uh, to get this Amiga, cur the, the OS version 3 uh, Amiga cursor. I didn't remember what that web page I found it was. Uh, I searched and searched here a couple of days ago because I wanted to make this video like and show you that, that stuff as well. I could never find the, the web page. Uh, but I found uh, an Amiga enthusiasts uh, community and forum and IRC channel and I actually got in contact with, with the users there and uh, told them my little story and they helped me by pointing me to this place which is a, a quite cool uh, little web page. Uh, so this will be a little bit of a sidetrack here but it's, it's so cool so why not? Uh, and I will try to keep it short. Uh, TAWS, T-A-W-S dot C-H. Uh, this is uh, a place where you can try out different versions of the Amiga OS. So, for example, let's also... Yeah, whatever. We select OS 1 here, the first Amiga OS, and then we boot. And then we boot into... You will see here, this is uh, Amiga DOS... We're booting and we are in OS 1 and we can see the mouse cursor and we could see the sleep cursor and we got some icons and stuff here. I don't know what stuff here does because believe it or not, I am not an uh, Amiga guy really. I never had an Amiga. I just like the aesthetics and the, I think it has so much, what to say, soul or and attitude. I really like uh, uh, really like the aesthetics. Let's just say that. And it is beautiful. And also, only three colors here, really. Black, white, orange. And it's so uh, expressive and comfy. Whatever. Let's close this tab. Open it again. Or open a new tab. Open this URL. And you can test other uh, OSs as well here. So OS3, if I would execute that, we would see that the cursor looks like this, but you can even uh, try these more modern uh, Amiga OSs. Goes for, I'm not sure why I opened this now. This might be slow to start. No, it was actually super fast. And here we can see this is like modern Amiga. Uh, that drop shadow under the cursor is a little bit too much, but still a lot of, of soul. It's sad that uh, the Amiga what happened to it but let's not get into what happened and what is happening to the Amiga and stuff like that uh, I can say that the reason I have not uploaded my cursor theme is that I just had a feeling that I think the Amiga isn't they in some weird uh, copyright feud somehow you know 
And uh, the guys on, on, on that Amiga community, they told me a bit about this uh, uh, little feud. And it's very complicated. And sure, a, cu a custom cursor pack, no one would really care. That would probably be fine. And the worst thing that could happen is that I would get contacted by some lawyer saying, hey, please take that down. It's copyrighted material. That arrow you're trying to release to the world, don't do that. Something like that could happen. Uh, and then I would take it down and nothing more would happen. Uh, but just that thing alone is enough for me not wanting to have anything to do with it. But I think I can show you the process here on how to do this. And then you can do it yourself if you're interested. It doesn't matter. You don't have to do it. I think I can show you a couple of things here that may or may not be interesting or useful anyways. This page we are on now, this is not a virtual Amiga session. This is uh, just a web page, but it, uh, a, a JavaScript web page thing. Uh, if we open DevTools, which you can do in like Chrome, Chromium, Firefox, Vivaldi, whatever, uh, to see, to, to browse the, the, or inspect this web page, you can see the HTML and you can see the, the CSS styles and stuff like that. There you should find an element here uh, or a, a rule, a CSS rule called cursor colon and then uh, points to, to some kind of a cursor here. If you don't see this, you can try to filter for cursor. I'm sorry for the small font here. Believe me, I really would like to uh, change the style of this dev tools. It's really hard for me to read this small text as well, but whatever. Then what you do is... Uh, I think you can right click here and then copy link address. And that link address is this. So this is the full path to that cursor image here. And if you would uh, navigate to that URL in the web browser, you could of course use curl or wget here for this. But if we do this, uh, I just enter it here in the quick, quick launch thing. It will ask me if I want to save that file, and that is what I want to do. Now we have saved that file. It should be in the downloads. There we have it. And it's a .cur file, which is a Windows cursor file, just as uh, in the Amiga cursor set there. It's, it's one of these. Um, so apparently you can very easily uh, change a cursor on a, mouse, uh, on a web page by using Windows cursors like this. That should just work. But I know it also works with just normal pings as well on web pages. <clears throat> but if we want to use this uh, in a uh, X11 cursor pack, uh, we have to convert this into an X11 cursor. Uh, to do that, we need to install yet another uh, uh, package here uh, on Arch, at least it's called Ico Utils. It's available in the official community uh, repositories. So first install this. Uh, I guess pacman s Ico Utils. sudo on that. There you install it. I already have it installed, so blah, blah, blah. Then when you have that installed, it will install um, three different uh, 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 commands for you or utilities. And this is a good tip if you didn't know about this. When you have installed uh, something, a package with pacman, you can run pacman q lowercase l and then the name of the package and then it will list out all the files that have been installed with that package. And this is a good way to find like, okay, so we got this four uh, uh, programs in, in bin here. So these are four different tools we can use. And you can also see what man pages are installed. This is this is actually quite useful to find find stuff uh, in packages. <clears throat> and I you can probably do what we will do now in a better uh, way, but it doesn't matter. It's so simple what we want to do here uh, actually. And maybe we should have also looked up what this package is. This package is uh, for extracting uh, Windows uh, icons. Ico utils. There. Extracts and converts images in Microsoft Windows icon and cursor files. So that's what you use this for. Uh, and 
we want to extract the image file from this uh, OS3 early star uh, tube control dot cur file. And I happen to know, uh, and I know that by just trying out stuff and experimenting a bit, that this uh, the image file we want is a ping file, a PNG file inside this cursor somehow. So the command is ico2 output and then the name of the file whatever dot ping important that you spe whoops that you specified the, the output uh, file and the file name here and that file doesn't exist of course uh, then I'm not 100% sure if you need this cursor option, but I think so. Uh, and then extract, you definitely need that. And then the path to the file, which is os3. blah blah blah. Then we execute that command, and now we got whatever ping here. And now we just have a normal PNG uh, of this cursor. We get some uh, errors and stuff here, but don't worry about that. Um, so now we got the ping. Now we want to turn this ping into an X cursor. Uh, uh, uh. We do that. Now we need yet another <laughs> package here. Pacman search for uh, X org X cursor gen. Create an X cursor file from ping images. Sounds like exactly what we want. I have already installed this as you can see, but this is the name of the package on Arch. I believe that some distributions it might just be called X cursors gen here, or X curse or gen or whatever. Uh, and it's not a complicated program at all. Um, it got its little man page, I believe, which you can look up. if you want to it, it it's not a big deal it, it basically works like this um, x cursor gen the command then a path to a configuration file and then the name of the output file and notice here you don't uh, send the input file like we want to convert this p whatever dot png we want to convert that into an x cursor file but you specify the file name in the configuration file. And the configuration file uh, have a format like this, the size of the cursor, the X hotspot and the Y hotspot, then the file name, uh, which can be relative to wherever you execute this command, and then a milliseconds delay here if you are creating an animated cursor. Because if I would have like a series of whatever dot pings here that would be animated, for example, they could be in different colors. Uh, maybe we should do that. I have ne or maybe not because I've never done it, but I think it's very easy to do so. Um, whatever, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's open this with GIMP. Can also be interesting to see that this is just a normal uh, ping image here. And what if we change the color? What if we... Let's do... Good old Hayabusa Jello. And then we fill this. We have a yellow arrow instead. And the hotspot, by the way, that is uh, the X pixel and, uh, or the X and the Y position of the pixel that you want to be, yeah, the hotspot of the cursor. So now we can see the hotspot is at the top. This is the point of the cursor, but the cursor could point downwards and then the uh, hotspot would have a different X and Y position. And yeah, we can see down here, we can see the coordinates. Uh, I believe it's X, Y there, there. So, so the bottom left corner is 0 0.31 in this image, whatever. <clears throat> okay, let's just export this um, to whatever 
and then we can say whatever yellow ping export whatever there I don't know yeah this is always there I just sent it to workspace 3 so now we have two uh, pings here uh, now we need to create a, a configuration file so put it in the same directory there so so uh, cur conf or something you can call it whatever you want and the format so we have size I also think that you can use sharp will be a comment in, in the in the configuration file so size is, I believe it's this, it's 32 by 32. Uh, and then you just say 32, because I'm not sure, but I think they have to be square, uh, the, the cursor images, I'm not sure. Hotspot, X hotspot is zero, Y hotspot is zero, and the file name is whatever.ping, and then we can say millisecond delay, 300 or something 300 milliseconds then it will change to the next image in this cursor uh, And that will be of course whatever why I think it's important that they have the same size when you animate it But I'm not sure that you need uh, have to have the same hotspot So you could have like a rotating cursor with different hotspots. I'm not sure if you can do that, but Probably because it's such a stupid thing to do Save. Now we have a configuration file there. Now we can also execute that uh, command. Um, X cursor gen config file cur conf uh, and then output file my curse. There. Now we have my curse here. It's no way to, to see if this worked or not. But what we do here is we, we copy this to our local share uh, cursors. We have strange blog Amiga here, which we can use to test this stuff out. And of course, now it's uh, it, it might be impossible here to, to know which cursor is which here. It, it is a bit difficult to do that. I, I will show you quickly uh, soon how to figure out what is what here but left pointer that is the default uh, left pointing pointer here at least in this pack now so what we can do is just rename that here temporarily uh, to left pointer backup bu I usually do have that uh, naming convention and then we paste our my curse name that uh, left ptr underscore ptr now we have that, uh, I guess we have to, or maybe not. Yeah, no, but we can see now, it have a different, it have the Amiga uh, cursor there. Uh, on this page it doesn't work, because this uh, Amiga cursor is loaded by the web page. But if we go to the wiki page, now we can see, we have our own custom uh, blinking cursor. We did it, we did it. But it have this pointer, pointer symbol. And the pointer is hand. And I think I changed hand, hand one and hand two. I just changed, replaced those with uh, the old left pointer. Uh, but then there is one last thing I would like to, to do to, um, to get the perfect uh, Amiga cursor pack here. And in my opinion, I don't think it, it looks like they clash a lot. But these two uh, cursor packs, they look they they have a completely different style. But in my opinion, they actually work really well. Uh, maybe it's just me who's gotten used to it and and just is in denial. But I I think it doesn't matter that they are have a different style. The pointer and the arrow here, for example. Uh, let let's do this now. Let's remove this hand uh, guy here. We can actually remove it because I don't want to see it. And then we name this to hand 
and we copy that and rename this one and one we copy that and we rename that and two there uh, there is one problem now with this uh, cursor well now we will not see it here because we have set the default cursor to be a mega remember in uh, default here if I would change this to uh, strange blog Amiga instead Yes, now we see in Sublime here, um, and probably also in uh, if we can find an input box like here. No, it's just now it's just weird, weirded out here. What I want to get to is that our cursor pack and the cursor pack that you can download from the strange guy. It doesn't have a, a pointer. Uh, it doesn't have, have it set at all for the pointer. Excuse me. It doesn't have a mouse pointer uh, for this, for selecting text, the input box mouse cursor thing. And that was another thing that, I, that was annoying me a lot, that this is a terrible mouse cursor. In all uh, cursor packs, uh, this carrot text selection cursor because that uh, if, if, uh, if you are the type of person who who sometimes loses the, the mouse cursor like here because it's a white background white uh, cursor that happened to me sometimes imagine how many times I lost the cursor in a text document because the cursor looks just like a character now this one the Adwaita default one this is easy to spot here but uh, if I would have like white text on a dark background then this would get lost and the other way around you know uh, and that is when i i realized that this is a completely useless mouse cursor instead of having this cursor why not just have the default uh the normal pointer you know so i have i have configured my omega uh cursor set here to um, To do that, as you can see, the mouse cursor doesn't change just because I, I am in a text document and selecting text. It's just the same mouse cursor. And I know this this might look a bit weird, and but isn't it much more difficult to select text when when you cannot see exactly from where you are dragging it? It 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 is like a learning curve, uh, but that it take it it takes very short time to get used to it. Uh, especially if you have like a, a, a decent text editor, not using, uh, with that I mean like not, uh, uh, um, I don't even know what they're called, the Office Suits, you know, Libre Office and stuff like that. Uh, but if you have a normal uh, text editor with a monospaced font, uh, and the same goes for a terminal, you know, <clears throat> a text editor, uh, it is you have different lines and on each line you have columns and these columns lines up so with this we can draw the conclusion that each character exists in a cell on a grid you know it is it is very much so and these grid these cells lines up perfectly they don't do that in libreoffice so i guess this would be a little bit different in uh, in in such a editor but i i don't use those types of, of programs at all uh, and then when I want to select text here, these cells, uh, you can think of them as being divided in half. So if I click the left part uh, uh, of, of the cell here, that means uh, that would mean the same as placing that carrot, uh, the, the, the normal cursor, this cursor in between these two. So either if I, if I click on the left, part of this cell or the right part of this cell uh, that is the same as as having the cursor in between here and that is actually the hitbox for even this cursor 
Uh, and that is how you how you just have to get used to that. And and it's not like you are thinking, oh, okay, uh, you are aiming. Okay, let's hit now the left and the right side. Uh, I never have any issues with this. And also, I guess it helps that I have a somewhat large font in my text editor. But uh, you should uh, do that as well. It it have m many other benefits. Um, and I find this, I, I never lose my mouse cursor when I uh, uh, sh uh, replaced, replaced that caret symbol. The reason we still see this, the mouse cursor as mentioned here is because we have uh, set the default here to Omega. And that means that it will uh, just load Amiga's uh, selection cursor. Now I don't remember from the top of my head here, but I know that it is yeah it's one of these two or maybe both of these is a good idea to to get these cursors and i use left pointer for them i think x capital x underscore cursor that is the cursor that will uh the carrot the text selection cursor and x term uh yeah, I just said that. That is probably the terminal cursor. I'm not sure. Uh, but I want the arrow for all of those, so it makes it easy for me now. So so let's do that. Let, let's just copy. Let's note this down here also. X cursor X term. Let's go to strange blog Amiga. And then we copy left pointer two times. Name one of them X term, <clears throat> and we name the other one X cursor, like that. And now I think that even if we set default here, even if we would set it to Adwaita, save, if I select Omega, it should work doesn't fall back and strange guy it also now works and it have the default left pointer um, and there that is how you uh, how my mouse cursor uh, theme is created in the arch wiki they also tell you about some of these extra cursors that may not be uh, um, included in your cursor pack for example strange blog guys cursor pack here it, it is a very small uh, cursor pack I think it only have it's something like 18 icons yes 17 files and now we have created two more here so it is just about 15 files or something in, in this cursor pack and we could see in the Advaita cursor pack had like 153 different icons but most of those uh, or I can, most of those cursors are just zoom links and so they have different names because some applications uh, specify try to specify a very specific cursor and it, it's all kinds of stuff regarding that so if you want a cursor theme that really works I think uh, or really works this will work don't worry it will be fine but uh, one thing you can do is uh, navigate to USR share icons uh, and if you have Advaita install install you can go there and cursors there and we do this then we can also do this and then we do lsl so here you can see uh, all this these blue ones with an arrow here this is just a zoom link this is the original file so if you wanted to you could try to uh, mimic these zoom links as best as you can it's it, it's kind of a detective work and I don't know if I want to get into it I, I wrote a little uh, quick uh, um, orc one-liner here that will uh, print out like Sebdo God damn it. Sebdo bash code here for sim linking all, all of those original images to to the uh, sim links or the <laughs> yeah um, but there are a couple here that I think is important I think there's one that is called arrow that you kind of need and there are more here that I don't think we have 
as it is now. Whatever you, this, this is a bit of a detective work to do this if you want to really, really create a, a rock solid cursor pack. So I'm just saying that here I will add this uh, somehow, this little orc one liner. Another thing uh, that can be good to know if you uh, intend to work on, on this stuff is that there is yet another package uh, called uh, Xcur to ping, I believe. Yeah, convert X cursors to ping images. So this is like uh, for X cursors, uh, the same thing as the window uh, conversion thing. And that can also be uh, handy to do if you download a cursor pack. For example, this Amiga uh, cursor pack now. Uh, let's see, we have it here in down still, right? Yeah, we have it here. So let's, let's copy this directory and just uh, rename this uh, test to ping or something. And then ah, Amiga test to pin. There it is. Um, if we want to extract all of these icons, just so you can see what their name is, um, I think I got a bunch of fours here. Yeah, here here is one. So for f in this directory, do xcur to png f done. So if I execute th this, it will extract the ping images. But you can see it it also it leaves the old images, and you also this is kind of neat because you get you get the configuration files for them as well. So here you can see how how the uh, configuration files are set for these different cursors. Um, okay, uh, let's do this also. Because the only reason to do this really is uh, to figure out which cursor is which here. And you see they rename them a bit weird as well here. They add this underscore zero zero zero. I guess this is if you have an animated cursor. I don't think there is any here. I guess they have like in the increment this uh, uh, number here. Um, there, I created a directory called pings, and then we could do this also for. There. So this will um, do a for loop here uh, on only the uh, ping images in this directory. And then mv that ping file into pings and rename it, remove these trailing zeros. And there, now we have like, th this is a, this is good uh, just to, to see, okay, so uh, uh, because some of them are weird, you know, like fleur, fleur, that is that, okay. Things like that, that is what this is uh, good for. And it can be even more useful for like this gigantic cursor packs like Adwaita and stuff to see which one you're missing or to find which one was that uh, um, uh, carrot text selection cursor and stuff like that. It, this is a bit of a detective work, but I... If you ever w would like to do do this, I, I think this video might will actually uh, save a couple of uh, people from going insane. It might actually have saved lives, uh, this video. Uh, <laughs> believe it or not. Uh, but this is not for everyone. This is not for the lighthearted to configure cursors and manipulate cursors. And then also, just as a closing thing here. <clears throat> When everything is set here, because as you can see, now we have two different cursors, even if it doesn't look like it, but this one is blinking, this one is not, because this one is the default, old default and stuff like that. What you need to do, you have to change all of these X init or uh, GTK settings and X init and everything to set this to your uh, the cursor theme you have selected. For example, strange dash blog Amiga, you set it in 
uh, GTK3 settings, you set it in xinit, you set it in x resources, and blah blah blah, you know. And then you restart before starting to troubleshoot. Trust me, I know, that, oh, but do you have to reboot? Yes, you will save time on doing that instead of trying to fix something that actually was working, you just had to restart or reboot or whatever. Um, I have no idea why this has become such a mess because it is the system itself is not bad I believe that you can uh, create animated ping cursor icons like this I, I have nothing against that and the, the cursor format and stuff and it's a naming convention that seems to, to be followed by most applications and most applications don't use any more than than four or five cursors and stuff stuff you know it's it's very it's nothing weird. How how can this have become such a a, a cluster, a cluster freak? <laughs> I, I I don't know, but it is uh, just as many other things are on Linux, and it feels like this this stuff is just getting worse somehow. But there you have it. That is how I created my Amiga cursor. Uh, the reason why I use it, yeah, they have here some some uh, uh, symlinks that you should that you usually can do. So I guess this is a good starting point to first do this one uh, listed in ArchWiki, and then if you want even more cursors, follow that. And all, yeah, should also mention that these cursors that we could see in Adwaita, for example, there were a lot of cursors named stuff like this. Uh, this is mostly when you are. Yeah, it's something about our desktop here. I never really used this, uh, but uh, like remote desktoping to a Windows client and instead of having Windows uh, uh, rendering the mouse cursor, uh, which doesn't seem to work well, if you set this up, then the mouse cursor on the remote desktop will instead be rendered by Xorg and using your local cursors and that is much... Um, it will work much better, but it is a lot of setting up to get this working, apparently. And my guess is that most people will never have any use for this. But if you would, then you can do this stuff here. Uh, you can also do this, uh, whatever. This is the best page, uh, anyways, uh, the Arch Wiki here. And this is how it works. This is what I've done. Um, my recommendation is don't don't create your own uh, mouse cursor theme. Um, instead, try to find one here or install one from from the package uh, manager. But I kind of think that you should not use. You, try not to use Adwaita. Try to to <laughs> try to find an alternative. Just because you know. But whatever. I see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.